Before you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyal to you when you're at your worst We need to hit her all like the wire You looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of a sin This just some uncut gems This just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mind would go berserk, trying to keep from riding in the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes is looking vibrant on my shirt, and time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on a curb. Uh, no, he didn't. Give me Matthew 12 and 18. It's the book of Matthew. Get up the street. You don't know the damn Bible, all right? The book of Matthew. Like, Matthew. And Nancy Drew. The, the book of Matthew, chapter 12, 18. Behold, my servant, whom I have chosen. And it's Christ. Uh, who, who the world called Christ, go ahead. My beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit in him. Spirit on him, God. And he shall shoot judgment. He shall what? Shoot judgment to the Gentiles. Shoot judgment to the Gentiles. When you go into that word judgment, it's talking about a crisis. It's, I mean, uh, basically a crisis. So he bringing judgment on the Gentiles. So how you gonna sit down for the Gentiles, but then he bring in judgment on them? Bugged out. So I let you know it's two different Gentiles. Finish. No, 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 no. Seventeen. But the word man. Oh, he good. What would he say he gonna have? Hey, hey, what y'all got going? What's your this? Like, which, like your, fa your father, then he, or your dad white and your mom's black. Okay, what you think about what like so-called Caucasians that did like how they rape, robbed, and pillaged like to get America established? Do you think that was right or was it wrong? It is right, like especially when you come and act like. That's basically if I should, like come to you and act like I'm your friend. But then I got an ulterior motive, like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna act like I'm your friend just to try to do something harmful to you. So that's wrong, and it's gonna be a karma that's gonna happen. Give me um, give me Galatians 6 and 7. Let me just show you a couple of scriptures of what God feel the same, the most high God of the Bible feel the same way that you feel. You know what I'm saying? About what's going on. Okay. It's the book of first plot, I mean second Thessalonians. Chapter 1 and verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God. It's a righteous thing with God. This is righteous. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. In over 500 years, right? Like, it, had, it started happening in like 1400 circle when so called Caucasians start taking, you know, the melanated or the indigenous Indians and um, slaves from West Africa. And, you know, having them in captivity. So it's a righteous thing with the most high to you know, tribulation on them that trouble you. So it's basically mean karma going. You do believe in karma, right? Like if you just out here putting out negative vibes, some negative you know what I'm saying? And it's a biblical that's a biblical mindset. It's a book of Galatians chapter six verse seven. Right? Be not deceived. God is not mocked. The most high God is not mocked. You can't mock him, God. For whatsoever a man sow it, you, what you sow, like if you sowing, if you sow good seed, you're gonna get good, um, you know, you're gonna get good fruit. But if you sow bad seed, you're gonna get bad fruit. Watch that. that shall he also reap. That shall he also reap. So since they sowed that bad seed over here, rape, rob, and murder and pillage, and they still do it to this day, they're gonna have to reap the judgment. Because they reap they reap the benefits now, like it's free labor. All these buildings that's happening on free labor. The White House got built with free labor. So sooner or later, the tables got to turn because that's only right in the Most High God house. You know what, I'm saying? what you think about that? All right, watch this. Let me show you. Do you agree that they did have a? You, you agree that Caucasians did have so-called indigenous and so-called black people in captivity? All right, watch it. It's the Book of Revelation, chapter thirteen and verse ten. Go ahead. He that lead it into captivity. He that lead it into captivity. So if you lead somebody into captivity, watch this guy. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword. Kill hundreds and millions of us. Go ahead. Must be killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Watch this guy. Here is the patience um, and the faith and of the, the saint. And the faith of the saints. The saints of the Lord are waiting on people that put people in captivity that they got to go into captivity. 
So that's what the Bible preached. The Bible preached you just can't go around doing all this negative stuff and expect positive. So of course this this so-called kingdom going on right now, but sooner or later it's gonna be torn down and the roles gonna be reversed. So-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Civil Indians, we gonna be back on top and all the other nations gonna be under us. Cause that's what it is right now. So the roles gonna reverse. So so you say your daddy is so-called white man? Ah uh, well you know according to let me show you something. Romans 9 and 13. Well, my fault. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, but you know. No, I, I, I appreciate what y'all are doing out here. I appreciate okay. I'm not like against Okay, then, okay. Well, let me show you something. All Caucasians, like, if you look in history, you ever heard of Alexander, Alexander the Great? Okay, like him, he come from, uh, he was a Macedonian, but he come from a man named, he in the Bible, he come from a man named Esau. That's the biblical, uh, the biblical progenitor of the so called Caucasian race. You know what I'm saying? Look what God feel about Esau. Look at Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Go ahead. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have he loved. Jacob was Esau's brother. So out of Jacob come the Israelites, the so called blacks, Latinos, Native and Civil Indians. So Jacob he loved, the most high God loved, God. But Esau have I hated. But Esau, he hated. He, did you know God hate, according to the Bible? He hated Esau. The progenitor of the so called white people. So boom, so that's a judgment. It's coming to Esau for all the rape. Give me Amos 1 and 11. All the rape, rob, and murder. The Lord hate that they did that. And he got a judgment that's coming for so-called Caucasians for what they did. Like they actually like, it's found in the Bible that we was going to go in slavery on slave ships. You, you ain't never heard that before. Okay, so according to the Bible, God loved the Israelites, but he hate Esau. Caucasian people. That's right in the Bible. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't right that or nothing. What you think about that? Never knew that, huh? So you learned something new today. Watch this. Watch this. Amos chapter, Amos chapter 1, verse 9. Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Tyrus. Of Tyrus, go ahead. Tyrus, like when you when you look at the continent of Africa, everybody in Africa not the same people. It's different tribes. You know, like you got Ethiopians, you got West Africans. Everybody not the same. They got a different look. So you got, we was over there in West Africa, so-called Negroes you know, Jamaicans, the Haitians, but it's different tribes. It was Hamites over there that they, they go back to the um, man named Ham, they Canaanites. So it was Canaanites over there, and it was us over there. So the Canaanites helped us sell, help sell us to the so-called Caucasian man. Watch the It says, uh, thus said the Lord for three transgressions of Tyrus, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they delivered up the whole captivity. He delivered up the whole captivity. Them Africans over there, there's Hamites, there's not us, there's different type of Africans. They gave up the whole captivity, God. To Edom. To who? To Edom. To Edom. And Esau is Edom, just like Jacob is Israel. So if you come from the man named Esau, he got his name Edom. So the, the Hamites gave up the whole, the different Africans over there, so-called Africans gave up the whole captivity, us. Uh, eat them. Watch them. Verse 11. Thus says, Thus said the, uh, thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, for three transgressions of Edom, God, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. will not turn away the punishment thereof. So it, justice got to happen. It's just like if somebody killed your whole family 20 years ago, but then you see him 20 years later, he get away. And you be like, ah, it's cool. You ain't got to get justice for that. No, you're going to be like, nah. My family, I suffer from this. I'm still suffering from damage that happened. It's shown that so-called blacks and Latinos, we still suffer from what happened during the chattel slavery time. And it's still going on today. We get gunned down in the streets. You seen George Floyd. You know what I'm saying? That was right on camera. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. He did pursue us with the sword. They killed millions of us. So it got to be a judgment. And that's according to the Heavenly Father. It's just not my own words. You know what I'm saying? So just know that according to the Bible, I got you. God hate. And it's an inevitable, it's an inevitable, inevitable judgment that's coming to the so-called Caucasian race. But now, you will fall under that because your father, you go by the seed of the father. Now, that's why I asked you, was it your mother or your dad? But since it's your father, he carried the seed, according to the Bible. The Bible deals with progeny. It deals with, like, descendants. So whatever man you come from, that's what you are. So even though your mama, your mama Israelite, she a so-called black woman, she an Israelite. 
but since she lay with a white man, now you would be an Edomite. Just like T and Tamara, you ever heard of them? They look like us, but they actually come from a so-called white man. And just like, you know, Carlton from Fresh Prince. You ever seen Fresh Prince of Bella? Huh? You find that picture. Alfonso Rivera, that's his name. Hold on. Even though he had a woman, he laid down with a so-called Caucasian woman, his kids still Israelites because it's about the seed of the daddy. Just like if you go plant an apple seed in Germany, an apple tree still gonna come up. It don't matter where it's at. So man, you will fall under that category as an Edomite. So man, it's gonna be a judgment come. So your mama, like your mama got a chance to repent, but as far as the Edomites, you'll be Hebrew for it. Oh yeah, show him that, show him that. Show him that. So his kids look like so-called white people, they go back to a black man. Just like a, just how you look like a so-called black woman, but your lineage will go back to that man because your mama, for whatsoever reason, made with him. People swear, so now they can't, I know you probably in the verse, right? Let me give you one more, let me give you one more. Look at Hebrews 12, verse 16. It says, least there be any fornicator. No, a fornicator, that means illicit sex acts. And if you look at the Catholic Church, so-called white people, they had sex with babies, all type of stuff. Ain't beast out of the illegal in Texas? According to the yeah, according to the Bible, you can't be having sex with animals. They do all that. <laughs> but that's important. So lest there be any profane fornicator, so that's giving the description of so-called Caucasians. A profane person as Esau. As, as, Esau. as Esau. So the Bible already got it down packed that so called white people was going to be doing all these type of this is sex acts. For uh, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For he for he knew how that afterward, when he would had inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Was what? Rejected. For he had found no place of repentance. There's nothing they can do to repent. So the best thing for so called white people to do, but you will fall under that branch too. Live it up. Like if you got a credit card, go max it out. Do what you want to do because the Israelites, so-called blacks and Latinos, going to be back on top. The Lord going to put us in our right. You know Christ, he wasn't this color. He was a so-called black man. If you read in the Bible, he got woody hair, brown skin. So what you think he's going to think if his people been going through this for 500 years? He just, he seen them in the cotton field in they back whip. He seen George Floyd with a knee to his neck. He coming back with vengeance. So, just, I would say just live it up, have fun. You'll be an Edomite according to the Bible, both of y'all. All right, you ready for some? Yeah, so you, you'll be going this, uh, you'll be a Babylon. Yeah, 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 because America gonna be destroyed. When Russia send the missiles over here, if you're not part of the elect, like of the Israelites, you're not gonna get delivered out of here. So everybody in America gonna get killed when the missiles come over here. They not gonna win the next war. So America gonna be over with, and then the elect gonna get gathered from over here, and we're gonna go in the wilderness, Lord willing, we are them men, and we're gonna go back to our land, we back on top. And then all the other nations that came against us, they going into slavery. That's right. That's right. And yeah, learning something new today. I know it's a shock, but all right. Yeah. Oh, praise.